In this video, we're talking about changing your brake levers, but specifically actually changing the hoses from one side to the other. Now I've got a set of Shimano SLXs, so I need to do it here. I got this bike from America actually, so I'm gonna have to change it because I ride with my front brake on the right hand side. So it could be that you're changing it vice versa or whatever, but this is our guide on how to do just that. Now to carry out this procedure, you're gonna need a couple of tools. I've got range Allen keys, I've got two and a half, a four and also a five. I've got an eight mil spanner, some cable cutters, cable ties, we'll get to them a little bit later on. And I've got the top cap for the bleeding system for Shimano just to replace the mineral oil, some mineral oil and a disc brake cleaner just to clean everything at the end. Now, if you're not that comfortable about messing around with your disc brakes, then I'd suggest that you take it to a professional bike shop and get them to do it for you. But the first step is that we're just gonna pull this cover right back. And we're gonna use our eight mil Allen key and we're just gonna loosen off this lock nut. And then all that we're gonna do is it's gonna, we're just gonna pull that cable out. You have to give it quite a good tug. And you'll see there's a little bit of fluid come out, but don't worry about that. We're gonna let that fall to one side. And we're gonna get on to doing the other brake now. Okay, so with them taken out, we're actually just gonna put them back in. Put them back in the other way that you had them, but be very careful right now. Do not pull on either of those brake levers, otherwise you're just gonna get a big squirt of oil right across the workshop and you're probably gonna to have to re-bleed your brake system as well. So pop that in, and then just get that lock ring back up, and we're just gonna tighten that. So with the push back in, make sure that olive clicks right into place and you actually hear a nice little snap, and then you're just gonna tighten it back up and get that pretty tight. And then just slide that hood back over, and you've got one done. So exactly the same on the other side, and to finish, just pop that hood back up and over. So what we're gonna do now is that we're probably not gonna to have to bleed the system, but there has been a little bit of fluid loss. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift both of the levers right up and we're gonna put them flat. We're just gonna replace that fluid that was lost and also just give it a bit of a pump and that should hopefully get the air that is in the system, if there is any, right up to the top and hopefully it'll displace it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this little plastic bucket that we talked about in the tools that you need. I need two and a half mil Allen key. We're gonna take off the top cap we're gonna put the bucket in place and then fill it with a little bit of fluid. You don't need too much. Maybe just fill it up sort of a centimeter full and that should be more than enough. I'm just gonna start just pumping the brake lever. And already I can see a few bubbles just appearing up through. There we go, nice big one there. So I've got a little top tip for you right now when we're here. You can actually just use your Allen key. Just use the end and you can just lightly, lightly tap your caliper and just work the whole way up the hose, just tapping it. And that'll hopefully get some of those bubbles right up. And you can see they're actually starting to thin out and then just finish by tapping just around the bolt. And if there is any lost fluid or any air that's been, been caught in the system, then hopefully it'll come up. There we go, starting to run pretty clear. So another top tip for you, God, this video is really full of top tips, isn't it? Is that cable tie that we were talking about earlier, if you actually just put that around the brake lever onto the grip, and fasten it, then it'll actually allow any air that is in the system to rise up through the system and you'll get that and it'll come out even firmer. So whilst you wait, maybe just leave that for five minutes, you know, I'll just grab a cup of coffee. Mmm, great. Here we are, five minutes is up. Those cable snips that I talked about earlier, bring them in, cut that, and I have to say, it is feeling pretty good, don't need to bleed that one. So just to finish off the first break, we're just gonna put that end cap back on top, and then one done, we'll move on to the, to the other break. So everything's back together. The brakes feel good. I'm just gonna give it all a bit of a clean because there's a couple of oily residue marks. I'm just gonna use some disc brake cleaner and a rag and uh, get the bars clean around the brake, brake hoses. So I'm just gonna finish off by just adjusting them to the level that I like and the right height and angle. So that's it for how to change your disc brake hoses over. For more great videos on GMBN, why don't you click right up there for a mechanical playlist or you can click down there for how to bleed a Shimano brake. As ever, don't forget to subscribe, click right in the middle. It's absolutely free and you get a great video every day of the week. 
If you're gonna carry this out, then give us a thumb up like.